Hello, welcome everyone back to another episode of Minion Rush. In case you haven't noticed, I haven't been recording in such time because iOS 13 wouldn't let me. So now I've just updated to iOS 13 Developer Beta 5, and I was able to get the screen recording working. So, now we should resume. I don't remember what we did in the previous episode. It's been like almost two weeks since we last filmed. But now we are on to episode 8. So just, please don't forget to hit the like button. Let's, we're going to shoot for 20 likes and see if we can get up to the... See if we can continue our series. And basically, for this episode, we are going to play in Minion Park. And basically, the reason why we've got special missions known as the Piggy Run... And we've already got the silver medal for that. I can even show you. It's basically in the... It's basically... Piggy Run. And I got this award, like, literally... Today. According to... This, but I technically got it yesterday. So basically... If you have missed... Basically, my max Jelly Lab score is 169, with my max Despicable Multiplier being 20. Ah! So basically, we're gonna now run in Minion Park, and as we can see here, we are asked to collect ah! 80, 80 training shoes, and we got 47 to go. And once completing it, I get 180 market tickets. So basically, I've already done the first three stages off camera, and it was pretty great. I've unlocked several minions, not to mention the night minion. I've unlocked the ballerina, the jogger, snowboarder, snorkeler, singer, tourist, to tail chip hat, and I think firefighter, and I think that's it. I may have also unlocked party or vacation or off camera, but I'm not sure. The clear part. Uh, especially, I, I think that was, I unlocked it probably when I just got the update. Ah! But don't ask me, because I don't know anything. I don't know, I don't remember, I mean. So yeah, let's get started and get right into the rush. Get it? I'm not recording key star, especially. Basically, in these fevers, I think that if, if you've watched the series, you may have seen a better clip of this special mission. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I think it was, had to do with the day at the park or something. Park day, beach day, something like that. I don't remember. I do have to check the rhythm notes again. And I'll probably let you know in the next episode. What exactly the theme was for that special mission? Because I know exactly where it took place because I inadvertently started the mission as I started the series instead of starting the group lab at the time in the daily lab. So you may have saw that montage. But basically, it's the same concept. Same concept. Concept never changed. Only a matter of time before the user interface changed. I just missed that. Uh, I missed that too, right there. I missed that hole. Anyway, it's actually been a while. I actually have a damn song. I've done a lot of despicable ops. And as you may have noticed already, I've already collected a lot of items and stuff on this one. I've even gotten halfway through. And yes, and this is not the end yet. As soon as I get the gold medal, then it's over. You're done. One and done. Yeah, so last night I was playing Minion Rush in Special Mission and I got like 750 whistles. And apparently, I could never do it until I found a girl that I knew. That gave me a boost. And it was this Minion. I can use it to my advantage, and having 20 tokens in my pocket, I can be able to use those 20 tokens in Emergency Revive. And there I was able to use the level. 
Yeah, yes, and I won like literally 100 races. Just for that. That for unlocking achievements, which gave me 60 cards, you're able to collect like over 10,000 bananas in a row. But that didn't happen to me the last time I played in this off camera. Before the jelly lab was removed, because I collected over 10,000 bananas without the night minion. This alone, it was extremely a difficult task. That's not these one time challenges. They were so overrated when I first played the special missions in the dungeon. Because they're so overrated, like, you have to cook 300 times when you are not that good at moving. At least the game lock, game lock, fix that, pack that issue. But it was very inconsistent. I just deliberately crashed by the way because there's no way I'm gonna collect 16 t items without um the fever. Because otherwise it would be just really pointless. Ah! <laughs> yeah, with the night minion you. Hundred percent more bananas while riding a fluffy unicorn, which means it's really a more effective way of banana farming. Which I don't think you've heard of, anyways. But if you're familiar with these Minecraft farmings, like check out Mumbo Jumbo's channel. I'll link in the description in the, in his channel to the description below. But basically, Mumbo Jumbo did create some farms, like even a banana farm for the snapshot at the time of the upload. It was pretty clever, so there should be such thing as banana farming in Minion World. Basically, what you do is you unlock either the Fairy Princess or the, um, Knight. <laughs> Excuse me, I just won. won the plus 16, 196 tickets. So anyway, I'm just gonna explain this. But anyway... Yeah, 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 yeah. For doing this... You farm bananas by collecting either the night minion, which I'll show you. Night minion, you can collect 300% more bananas while using the fluff unicorn. It's very effective. The fairy princess is less effective. But it could give you like 6,000 bananas in a single run. But it's not that effective. Excuse me. But the Knight, which is an epic costume card, is very effective. Yes, this does include a one-run challenge. It, oh my gosh! 260 despicable actions. Yes, I've also gone in and done a lot more. Like, I've completed the daily challenges. I've gotten up into the Recon League. I don't know where I'm going next. But basically, I'm gonna show you how the banana farming actually works. So basically, how it works, I'm going to show you. In this run, so basically I'm at Edwarder's house of Harder, but you have to find a fucking unicorn. And basically, the fucking unicorn is what you need because it gives you a powerful advantage. Kill that memory right there. So basically, 
the banana splitter won't work because it's not that effective. There's no button and has a five second time limit. Therefore, you can't use it. You only use the banana splitter the ninth minion. Doesn't matter if you're a fairy princess, except for it's not. Basically, right now we're attacking the third step, which is to look, which is the search for the fluffy unicorn. Yes, and mainly you still have to dodge that stick, and you have to stay on the fourth long enough to actually make this work. So yes, the fourth step is the hardest part. You just start collecting bananas. It's not technically, it's not the hardest, but. The collecting bananas from the fluffy unicorn can be a bit of a drag, but it gets easy once you get the hang of it. Yes, the fifth step is the absolute hardest, it, and it is to repeat step three and four. As long as you stay alive, if you die, you have to start from the beginning of step one. So, basically, this is what we call banana farming. The reason why I called it that because you get a ton of bananas. Well, using the game's mechanics. <laughs> make that happen. Secret areas also give you a of bananas as well, so use them. <laughs> so, like right now, I now have like 3,000 bananas. And I get what? Like. That was the replay, by the way. Basically, as you may have noticed, I am going very aggressively through the workout room. And yes, you collect more bananas, and you keep repeating the steps loads of times. You have to collect every single lucky unicorn in order to farm this many bananas. Because you will get a ton. You just have to collect all the bananas. Try to get as much bananas as you can. Just please try not to collect all of them. It's extremely impossible to do so. It's clear you'll get the hang of it. Once you get used to the fluffy unicorn mechanics, you just will work swiftly. Very fast. And yes, you can also score a lot of points in the work out for the fluffy unicorns. You get a ton of bananas, and it's not an exploit. It's not a glitch, it's basically the game's intended mechanic. Okay, now I have 9,076 bananas. It sounds very high. And I'm still under the hardest record. You may have gone to the beginning of the video, but I'm not going to show you that. Record, special lab score. Because I've already gotten a bit high in my score already. With 312,000 and counting. Yes. I just got like four. Whoops! Alright. Let's save the coins. So, yes, the Nefarious League is next. So, basically, the Nefarious League promotion is secured. Just have till Friday or Saturday. I think it's Saturday. Oh, and I just got another achievement. Yeah, Despicable Ops is gonna be a problem. Because it requires the Bread of Frankenstein, something I do not have and I wish I have. Free Prize Pot does not have anything to do with epic stuff. Zero to free epic. Dang it. That's not a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, which means I can't go on until I unlock that minion. Yes, I'm just gonna play around in the shop.
Oh, that's right. Those are sold out items. I gotta look for which minions can be upgraded quickly. Snowboarder, I think I have like five cards. Yes, I do need to collect 16 left. Basically, once I collect one more, I'll be able to ah. upgrade Snowboarder, which I am very likely to do off camera. How long did I record? I don't know. <laughs> when did I? I'll check my notifications. <laughs> Dang it, I don't have it. Stopa! So anyway, Stopa! it was very recently. Hold on for just one second. Yeah, just slightly under 20 minutes. <laughs> Not less. Anyway, still got another episode. Or I mean... Stopa! Stopa! We, got another. we got more. I gotta look for something with high despicable actions. By a certain percentage. Ow. Sorry. Um. Which one has the better number? Hmm? Jump overs. Snowboarders ah! is jump overs and slide overs. Can't find despicable actions. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. This day will upgrade the. No border better call than that. Whoops. There we go, we just got them. Another one. I think that is the main amount of noise I found it sounds progressively when there is something. I don't know why but my throat is sore. This is rather odd. They all just deliver you. Dang it! Whoa. I'd rather use up my fur. Cause that that'd be reckless spending. <laughs> you ever heard of budget cuts? Well, that's that. Yeah, we won pretty. I mean, I won pretty two market tickets. I don't know why I used the wrong pronouns. Yeah, where's where the heck is the snowboarder? Yep, it's available to upgrade. So basically, it does cost banana tokens. Basically, it's able to upgrade the snowboarder to level two. So anyway, that's it, everybody. We're gonna have to call this episode an end. So, anyway, see you next time, everybody. Peaceful Bird 16, I'm signing Mama. out.